Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be talking about loops in Ruby and some common loops that are used to solve the coder by challenges. So the basic loop in Ruby and most languages is the, are the for loops and the while loops. So I'll start with the for loop. So to loop through uh, a range of numbers, you do for i, so i is the variable that's going to be representing each element, for i, and this can be any letter, so for k, i, p, for i, in 1 to 10 do something and so we end it so it's variable range and then the do statement which will do something so let's just say we have an array and we'll push each um, number within the range into this array and we print array and we get the numbers 1 through 10 so this is how you loop through a range of numbers and you push um, each of these numbers to an array so let's just say now we have an array of names and we have Dan, Mike, Jen, and Bob. So if we want to loop through this array, what we can do now is for i in, uh, let's do for 0 in 0, 1, 2, 3, 0 to 3 push names of i. So here we're accessing each element within names because we're looping from 0 to 3. And then we're pushing this into array. So when we print array, we get the same um, array now. So we're pushing each name into array. Um, now if we wanted to, for example, loop through the array and print every other element, we can use a step function. So 0, 3, step twice, do, and then do n. So we were using i before, so we'll use i. So as you're stepping, as you're looping through 0 to 3, you step every two elements. So it'll skip every element, every other element within names. And so what we'll do now is array push names of i. And when we print it, we get Dan and Jen. So we start here, skip, start here, skip. So we get Dan and Jen. And then you can skip every three elements, and we'll get Dan and then nothing oh, Dan, oh so it gets Dan skip skip and then Bob so that's a, these are two basic ways to um, use for loops and the step function um, another loop is the while loop so let's just say you have some uh, a counter and you're trying to loop until the counter equals some value so while counter is less than 10 do the following um, so once again let's create an array and push the following number into array and you can't forget to increase the counter or this loop will run um, infinitely it will never stop because counter will always be less than 10 so now if we print array we get the numbers 3 3 whoops what's going on oh we're pushing i whoops so we push push counter so now we get the numbers 0 through 9 so counter counter here is 9 and then this loop will run until counter is less than 10. And after each iteration of the while loop, we're adding one to the counter. So it'll increment from 0 all the way to 9 and stop once it's equal to 10 because counter isn't less than 10 anymore. And we're pushing that number into array. And then we finally print array. And so now what we can do is if we only want the even numbers, we can, for example, if uh, counter mod... 2 equals 0, then we only push to array. So here we're um, dividing by 2 and getting the remainder by using the mod function. So we'll cover this in another video uh, in the math section. So, But what it's doing here is it's getting um, the even numbers and it's pushing it to array. So now if we run the code, we get 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So here we just got all the even numbers between 0 and 10. Um, by using a while loop. So another really popular loop that uh, people who code in Ruby like to use is the each loop. So if you have an array of numbers, 1, 2, 100, negative 4, and 3, if you want to loop through each element in the array, we did that before using a for loop, but you can also do the each loop. So array each, and then do and and so now what it's going to do is it's going to loop through each element in array and do something with that element 
So let's just say we want to store these numbers in a new array. So we'll call it new array, and we'll do new array push n. And then we print new array, and we get the same numbers. So the each um, function is a really uh, sh um, simple and easy way to loop through a um, collection of numbers, or a collection of anything. So for example, we can have 1, 2, 10, 4, 3, um, a string, and then another array, 10, 20. And we run the code, all of these uh, elements are looped through using the each command. Uh, and so you can combine loops and combine conditionals. So we can do the same thing we did before. Uh, so we can do, so let's get rid of these. And it's an array of numbers. And so for example, let's just say we add some more numbers and we only want the numbers that are negative. So we can, for example, here do if n. So we can do if n is less than zero, new array push n. And so here we get two numbers. So it loops through this array and it gets the numbers that are less than zero and it pushes them into new array. Uh, so you can no you notice here that we're using n to be the element in the array. So we're looping through the array and each element is being set to the variable n. Before in the for loop that we were doing before, um, we were looping through a range of numbers and then we were accessing each element in the array based on the index. So it was looping through um, some numbers and i represented a number and then we would get each element by doing array of i and so on. So array of i would be array of 0, array of 1, all the way to the end of the range. So this is a slightly easier way to loop through a collection by just using the each function.